to let you know that I just bought myself some Bob dry shampoo, and I'm so excited about it. It's amazing. I'm so happy that you told me about that. You just want about it. Um, maybe, I don't know, because I feel like people might want to know about that. It might be one of the best finds that I've had, like, all year, and it's because of you. <laughs> all right, talk to you later, bye. Hi, everybody. It's me, Emily. Last week, someone asked me what I consider to be some of the worst things that we do to our hair. So my answer to that question was kind of too much of anything, even a good thing, can be bad. Things like shampooing your hair is great, right? But you can also do that too much. Well, it's really hard if you have an active lifestyle to kind of skip your shampoos. When I spend an hour blowing out my hair, I want it to last as long as possible. You know, too much heat styling not good for you. Um, so I try to limit the amount of blow dry curling iron. Today I went to hot yoga this morning and it's disgusting weather outside. It's terribly rainy and gross. So I'm not going to spend another hour blowing out my hair because I'm probably going to go outside. I pin all my hair up on top of my head. Sometimes um, if I have it avail quickly available I will use a shower cap and cover everything but leave out my fringe and a little bit of my hairline like this. And I'll shampoo the fringe area and the hairline and massage some water through that and then take it down and I blew out my, my bangs. Um, but then I will follow with a little dry shampoo all over. I'm going to show you a couple of different dry shampoos that I like. You will often see this Batiste dry shampoo in my kit. Dry shampoo has been around for a really long time. They have powder versions, which are a little harder to use, and they have um, a lot of product companies are coming out with these aerosol spray can versions, which are super easy. I'm going to show you how I like to use those. Some lines, like Bumble and Bumble has a few dry shampoos that are specific to hair color. One of the problems with dry shampoo, especially the powder um, formula, like back in the day when we always used baby powder, if you have really dark hair like mine, sometimes almost whitish kind of kind of gray effect um, and we don't want that. I also really like the Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo from TG. I've been a fan of this for a long time and I noticed the other day when I bought this that they also have a dry conditioner now. I was actually in Walgreens today and I saw that Dove has one. I haven't tried it yet. What I decided to pick up and try was this Suave Dry Shampoo. And I noticed that they also had a dry conditioner, so it's going to be my first time to use it today. But I wanted to show you how I use it. So it's aerosol. With the dry shampoo, you want to concentrate it at the roots. I like to take and pick up a section like this and spray it right to the scalp. Now you can see it's pretty white. But if you just kind of run your fingers through it, or even, I like to take my blow dryer and just go back through it with my round brush. That disappears and becomes colorless. Oh, it smells great. I sprayed this really liberally throughout my hair. So remember, dry shampoo, spray, open up some sections, spray, 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 and use your fingers to comb through. This dry conditioner which I haven't used yet. This will be the very first time. The dry shampoo is has a really matte finish because if you are trying to absorb oil and keep your hair, you know, looking fresh and clean, um, you probably want to absorb any any oil at the scalp that you have. So this product is meant to lightly condition and add shine in between shampoos. So you don't want to do that directly on the scalp. Like we sprayed the shampoo at the scalp. So this product is going to be mid shaft to ends. And I'm holding it probably about four to six inches away. Like that. Oh, this smells good too. So that was my first time trying out the Swab Dry Shampoo and Dry Conditioner. I've been a big fan of this Batiste. The 
TG Rockaholic Dirty Secret. I'm gonna try their dry conditioner as well. Find a product that's in your budget and that you are happy with the results from. And for a lot of people, the smell is really important. The swab, I wish that you could smell it because it smells amazing. Remember, at the scalp for shampoo, from the mid shaft down to the ends for a conditioner. Use your fingers to move the product through your hair. I wanna know, have you tried any dry shampoos? Do you prefer aerosol or powder? What's your favorite brand? Would you try the Swab dry shampoo and conditioner? And if you have already, then I wanna know what you thought of it too. I look forward to hearing from you and let me know what you think. Thanks, have a great day.